Uh, Richard Hine publishes a newsletter over on, um, on Ghost uh, titled Unprecedented, uh, to which I subscribe. And his most recent post was called Felonious Trump. And I wanted to share with you some of the points that he makes, because this is, this is the stuff we need to memorize. These are the talking points we need to share with our friends and neighbors. And this is such a nice, tight, succinct summary of it. Uh, Trump led a conspiracy to overturn the 2016 election. He incited a violent erection. Uh, excuse me, insurrection. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe it was a violent erection. I, no, apparently not, according to Stormy Daniels. Um, anyhow, he stole classified documents, hid them by a toilet, uh, and refused to give them back when asked. I, I'm, I'm thinking porn stars here. Uh, Trump has also been named as an unindicted co-conspirator in election interference cases in Arizona and Michigan. And then this is where it gets really, this is where Richard really knocks it out of the park. He says he's a self-confessed sex predator and adjudicated rapist and a longtime Epstein, Jeffrey Epstein associate. A judge said the jury concluded that Trump committed rape, quote, as many people commonly understand the word rape and a second jury also found him liable. A business, he is a business fraud who is currently banned from doing business in New York. He was fined $355 million plus interest, which is a total of $450 million, and barred from running a business in New York for three years. He was a money launderer with ties to organized crime. From the minute the Trump Taj Mahal Casino opened in New Jersey in 1990, it was breaking U.S. anti-money laundering rules. According to a 1998 settlement agreement with the IRS, Trump admitted to breaking those rules 106 times in his first year and a half of operations. The casino paid a $478,000 fine in 1998. It even got worse from there. In 2015, Trump's Taj Mahal Casino was fined $10 million by the U.S. Treasury's Financial Crimes Enforcement Network and admitted to, quote, willful and repeated, end quote, violations of the Banking Secrecy Act. He was laundering money for Russian oligarchs. This is why the Russians love him. Reporters, of, including David K. Johnson and the late Wayne Barrett, have extensively chronicled Trump's social and business dealings with mobsters and other criminals. During a 2004 panel on the Museum of Television and Radio in Los Angeles, Trump said he had resisted and, uh, the uh, first offer to appear on The Apprentice because, quote, you know, mobsters don't like, as they're talking to me, okay. having cameras all over the room. It would play well on television, but it doesn't play well with the mobsters. In other words, he's, he's bragging about the fact that he's friends with these, you know, organized crime. He's a con artist who paid a $25 million fine for operating a fake university. War widows and seniors were the main targets who were his victims for his fake university. He charged $34,995 for the gold elite package. Salespeople were told if they complain about price, the price, remind them Trump is the best. None of the materials used in the fake university were created by Trump or even reviewed by Trump. They were just generic stuff on how to sell real estate. He's a charity thief who paid a $2 million fine for a foundation that was shuttered because he stole from it. Before running for president, he famously worked with his son, Eric, to steal more than $400,000 from children with cancer. He raised $2.8 million in 2016 for U.S. veterans and then kept the money himself. He was ordered to pay $2 million each to eight different charities. He, and he, and his, his two sons and daughter had to take mandatory court-ordered training in how not to steal from charities. Trump is a racist, a rapist, he's lazy and a liar, he's a thief, a money launderer, a fraud and a con artist. He's a coward who mocks veterans, steals from them. He's used his fame to exploit his fans. He's stolen from war widows, seniors, and even kids with cancer. You're listening to the Tom Hartman Program. Call 202-808-9925. On top of that, he's an immoral and disgusting slob who cheats on his wives and pretends to be tough but gets weaker and weaker and whinier every day.